So there's a new NVIDIA app, there is a new NVIDIA driver out, and there is two RTX HDR features that we need to discuss. The first one is in the patch notes, and that is RTX HDR finally supports multi-monitor setups. So you have your HDR monitor and you have a second, third, or fourth screen connected to uh, your computer. You now no longer need to disable, disconnect, or uh, remove them from Windows. It now will just work. You can just enable RTX HDR and still have the joy of having more than one screen. It's awesome to see. Great job, NVIDIA. The second point, and this one here I haven't seen many people talk about because I don't know if they're aware of it yet, but I noticed it straight away because I'm affected by this problem and I went straight in as soon as I saw there was an update and then I saw there was a solution now. And that is the way that RTX HDR determines your monitor or your TV's peak brightness has changed. Prior to the update, it went off your monitor's EDID value. Post this update, it now goes off Windows HDR calibration settings. This is a big deal for someone like me who has spent a tremendous amount of time trying to troubleshoot why RTX HDR says I have only 400 nit screen. Because my main desktop monitor uses display stream compression, I could not use a tool like CRU, Custom Resolution Utility. It's created by ToastyX. I will put a link below to that tool. But because my monitor uses display stream compression, any changes I made in CRU would not work. That's not a discredit to the tool. I have an OLED TV and the tool works absolutely fine on. It's just the way that NVIDIA works with display stream compression that it just for some reason just chooses to ignore any CRU settings. So what does this mean though? And I'm not going to bore you with more details on that because I could honestly talk about all that for like days. What does this mean? So NVIDIA has swapped. It no longer goes off the EDID value. It now goes off your Windows HDR settings value, which means if you go into your windows settings into your display and then you uh, open up hdr and you calibrate your hdr i've got a video up on it i'll put it up here if you calibrate your hdr and set it to say a thousand nits as an example and then you close and reopen your nvidia app your new uh, maximum peak brightness will now show a thousand regardless of what the edid value for your monitor says but that's a lot of things just for me to say, and it is buried a little bit in the NVIDIA app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my desktop now, and I will go through it, and I'll show you where in NVIDIA settings that you can calibrate your screen and set it correctly to be whatever maximum nits you like. And then I'll show you where in the NVIDIA app you can set it, and I'll also show you how to get the latest NVIDIA app. So here we are on my desktop. Um, I've got my Windows 11 settings on the left and I've got the NVIDIA app up here on the right hand side. So to start with, let me open up, uh, let me click system, we're going to click display. And now we're going to come down, yep, monitor one, that's my HDR display, we're going to come down, you can see use HDR is turned on. Now you can see that I've already set a custom color profile here that's just 700 nits, just because I'm using this as an example. What I now want to do is I'm going to click advanced display down the bottom here, and I'm going to confirm that the peak brightness is reading as 700 nits, which it is. It's great. Now, jumping across to the NVIDIA app, if we click on the system on the left-hand side, and then we click video tab, and in here you'll see high dynamic range as an option. And if I click on high dynamic range, you can see I've got my peak brightness slider and the maximum is 700 nits because that's what I've set it in Windows. So I can select anywhere between 400 and 700 nits peak brightness for RTX HDR. Great, cancel that. Now, how do I know that that is going off of Windows? Aside from my own investigation and knowing that it was 400 prior to this new update and I couldn't even see a slider, let me prove it. Let's create another new profile and we'll go through and use that. So jumping back into the system, uh, no, I lied. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the HDR app. So if I go in Windows HDR calibration, we're gonna go click get started. And here I'm using an OLED. I'm just gonna put it to the darkest because I have perfect blacks, click next. Now for this, we have an 800 profile. So let's set one at 800. I'm just gonna pull it up to 800 for maximum. And yep, we'll just do it here as well. So 800 again and click next. And I just, yeah, we'll set this to 50. Next, and I'm gonna call this one 800 underscore nits, just so we can differentiate the settings. And let's click finish. And yep, it's been associated. Cool, close. So now if we go back to display, you can see that my color profile here is actually 800 nits now. 
But if I come down and click on advanced display, peak brightness still says 700. It's not that it's not applied, it's just it hasn't updated yet. So you have to close settings, reopen the settings app again, go back into system, back into display. And now if you click advanced display, it will actually read correctly at 800 nits, which it is. Great, what about the NVIDIA app? So jumping back into it, you can see that if I click on the video again, it still says 700, it hasn't updated. If I close the app and if we reopen the NVIDIA app and we click system again and we go back into the video tab and we click on HDR, you can now see peak brightness is reading at 800 because I've recalibrated my screen and I told Windows my peak brightness is now 800. That to a lot of people may seem like a minor change, but as someone who has been plagued by this for so long, it is so refreshing to see this finally implemented that we can now manually control the peak brightness off of our Windows settings. I'll also add in quickly, just before we wrap this one up, uh, if you want this latest update, you click settings in the Your NVIDIA app and then click about, and then tick this checkbox here that says opt in to receive early builds. You will then have a pop-up appear at the top up here that does say that you need to relaunch to apply the latest update. So if you are following this along and you do notice that you're missing certain settings in the NVIDIA app, just follow that to update it to the latest. That's it for me. Um, it, if you follow those steps, when you next use uh, Alt-Z to activate uh, the filter in a game, it'll do the same thing. It'll show you the exact same value. It'll reflect as 800, 700, 1000, whatever you set it to. Thank you for watching as always. Till the next time. See ya.